Hey everyone, how's it going? I hope you're doing well on this Friday. I am here today with something I just got in the mail. These are headphones called the Neuraloops. And I have been anxiously waiting for these. They got massively delayed due to all the manufacturing issues and stuff in uh, China with the coronavirus, but they finally uh, arrived in the mail today. I never got around to making an IGTV video about their um, their first and kind of flagship product being the Neuraloop headphones. I probably won't get around to it just because I'm very busy, <laughs> but uh, at the end of the day, if you're considering something uh, absolutely amazing for your ears in terms of how it graphs and molds uh, what you're listening to with your unique hearing and ear signature, check out the Neuraloops. These are over-ear headphones that are beautiful sounding, but they get a little bit uncomfortable if you wear them for like three hours or more. You definitely can't sleep in them or anything like that very comfortably. Uh, I absolutely love these. And they were the company's very first product that was launched on Kickstarter. Uh, after that, I think it was early last year, they started um, opening up pre-orders and running another Kickstarter for Neuraloop headphones. So this is an unboxing and first impressions uh, assessment of what these guys are. Uh, I assume I'll probably need an app or something like that, but I just want to unbox them and see how they go. Uh, I'm a big fan of how the size of these. This is already very small and lightweight. Uh, passes the smell test. My big concern right out of the right out of the box, so to speak, um, was that these obviously have a wire that connects between the, the left and the right headphone. And, you know, if you're using something like Apple's AirPods or something, it's so nice not to have a wire in between your, your ears. But I'm curious if the trade-off for these is just way higher fidelity uh, with your unique hearing profile. So these are supposed to do the same thing. It's supposed to do basically the same thing as these big guys, the big over-ear headphones. Uh, it's supposed to create a profile uh, unique to your hearing signature. Let's see, push. Ooh, I like this. You just, it actually tells you what to do. Push and then pull. So that's kind of nice, because it was a little strange at how they were crammed in there. Um, these are supposed to do the same thing, but be a much, much more portable and kind of smaller footprint. Obviously they are, they're very small and lightweight. So that's it for the headphones. So they're quite large. I'll say right off the bat, like just in my hands, these are these are pretty big for over-ear headphones. They're definitely not trying to compete with uh, Apple's AirPods or anything like that. Let's see what else we have in the box. A couple instructions about downloading the app, putting on, so all you do is download the app, put on the Neuraloop, and then create your hearing profile. Nice little case. I don't know about you, but I feel like companies waste a metric ton of money buying cases like this because I lose them. I never use them. They're uh, not super helpful. And we got a charging cable. Let's see what version charging cable this is. Hopefully USB-C. No. So that's, okay, that was something, it was always a strike against the original Neura phones is that it had a proprietary cable connector. You can connect over USB-C and charge and stuff, but the, the headphone side of the cable was like a proprietary thing, which was really annoying. Looks like they kept that up with the Neuraloop. So that's a big strike one. Uh, looks like it's this sort of, head it actually looks like a headphone in and of itself in terms of the footprint that I guess attaches to the, uh, they do include some different uh, ear tip sizes. So that's good. That makes sense. Uh, you can kind of roll through a few different fits and then it includes an analog cable. So if you're one of the rare people that actually have eighth inch cabling still, uh, you can connect these without having to have battery power and all that. So that's kind of nice, I guess. It's really funny. I was actually shooting an elopement uh, a couple weeks ago and they wanted to, they were having issues with the Bluetooth speaker and the officiant who was zooming in and they were, they just wanted to hard connect it. They finally found an eighth inch cable from one of the guests that had it in their car and nobody had a cell phone that would do a headphone jack anymore. Just might as well not even exist anymore. So I'm not sure how great that is that they include, but they include that analog cable anymore, but I'm gonna go ahead and pop these in my ears and see how they fit. Ah, so I need to achieve a seal. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to go up in size. This feels a lot better. Yeah, the large definitely fits with a cleaner seal. Oh yeah. Now, I'm not sure if these do active noise cancellation. Let's see what it says on the box. Personalized sound, active noise cancellation. So I'm curious if it does the pass through it's definitely sweat resistant and it's got a social mode. So it does have pass through, which is really, really nice. One of my favorite features with AirPods. Let's see how well it actually works with the app to log in with an account now. That's new. You're not gonna have to have like an active internet connection to be signed in to an account for them to work. It's mostly just for the setup and then like ongoing configuration. 
I swear my memory is getting really, I can't even remember six numbers anymore. Okay, so Neura, let's reconnect. I'm gonna connect a new one. Neura loops, begin. I don't know if they came pre-charged. It's gonna be kind of annoying if they're not pre-charged. I suppose I can, yeah, it doesn't seem like they are. So I'm gonna plug in the, thankfully I've come prepared with a battery. This is one of my favorite at home, at home battery bricks. This is an awfully short cable. <laughs> okay, so I've got my battery and I've got my headphones, hopefully turning on to Bluetooth. I don't hear anything. I don't, I don't know if they're, I don't remember the last time I got a product that didn't come charged out of the box. Maybe that's an unexpected consequence of like post coronavirus manufacturing. Maybe they aren't able to do pre-charged batteries for some reason, <laughs> who knows? Also a bit of a negative hit yet again with these. Uh, there's no light or any way to know whether these things are charging or not actively. That's kind of annoying. I would expect maybe some sort of, oh, I take that back. I take that back. There is a pulsing light on the back here. Let's see if I can. Now we just sit and wait. So as a side note, uh, I'm getting bored here, so I'm just reading the box. <laughs> uh, there is touch dials, so they are touch sensitive on the outer dials there, which is really nice. The original Neura phones also have these buttons that don't look like much. They look like just static hardware buttons, but they actually are touch sensitive. I really like them, uh, but they actually do kind of get in the way a bit. Like you'll accidentally bump them and turn off noise canceling on and off by accident when you're like making adjustments. So hopefully they're a little less sensitive or just a little bit better implemented on the Neura loops. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take them off charge, see if, I'm just growing impatient. So it's asking me to charge for an hour before continuing. Guess I'll be back in an hour after these charge. Okay, it hasn't quite been an hour, but I'm getting impatient. I just binged a couple episodes of Netflix's new uh, series called History 101, and I highly recommend it. It's, it's really, if you like little condensed episodes about uh, anything and everything, just watch one about plastics. I watched one about uh, oil in the Middle East. It's just a really great show. So uh, here we go. All right, let's see if these will finally pair to my phone now, putting them back on. Okay, it says once you're connected, return to the app. I'm connected and I return to the app and it's still saying once you're connected, return to the app. It's infuriating when stuff, as easy as it is to solve by just probably rebooting the app, it should have known that it was connected. So yet another strike in the setup process. Let's begin. I didn't so get it that. ensures that Could I have a good fit. Again? Okay, so it's doing like a little and I'm getting check marks in both saying to run the test again. It didn't have a good seal. Okay, it says it's still not a good seal, but I don't know. I just ran it and it said that there was a good seal. So I, I don't know what to do. I'm just say continue anyway. It's running another test. God, that was so annoying. It basically does sweeps between 20 hertz and 20 kilohertz, and then like oscillates between them. And I suppose that's a solid minute. Very annoying. This is neutral, it's good personalized. That's pretty good. You really hear it in the low end. There's an immersion mode. Basically like a low end bass. Scroll your finger around. Okay, let's, oh, social mode sounds good. I can hear myself very transparently. Although I'm picking up a little static in one side, which is kind of weird. And they turn automatically turn on or off just by having them in or out. So that's interesting. Huh. Okay, they sound like incredibly good quality, very reminiscent of what I heard in the Neurophone headphones. The over ear, I think is a little more isolating in sound. I'm not gonna know until I wear these out in the world and kind of get a sense of just how good the noise isolation is. They're very lightweight. You're not gonna lose track of them, that's for sure. It's nice in some way that these are connected because you won't lose one versus the other, but I hate that there's yet another proprietary charger. That must have been, some of the feedback they got from these is that people hated the proprietary charging cable and I guess they just don't care or they feel like the trade-off of what they can do in charging speed or something else is is better. It's worth keeping the pri pr proprietary charging. I don't know, but 
That's it. That is my quick unboxing first impressions of the Neuraloop. They sound amazing. The buttons seem like they work well and they fit very, very comfortably. Let me know if you bought some, or if you have any questions in the comments, I'd really appreciate hearing your feedback. I love stuff like this. And, if, and I do highly recommend the Neura, the Neura phones, the original pair. They're a bit more expensive and again, bulkier and not quite as comfortable if you listen to music for long, long durations, but they sound absolutely incredible. As always, thank you so much for your attention. Hope you're staying well. Bye.